Hello everybody. Back with the next chapter of the book of Joshua. Chapter 4. And all the days of Chanuk lived upon the earth were 365 years. And when Chanuk had ascended, ascended into heaven, all the kings of the earth rose and took Methuselah, his son, and anointed him. And they caused him to reign over them in the place of of his father and Methuselah acted uprightly in the sight of Elohim and his father Chanuk had taught him and he likewise during the whole of his life taught the sons of men wisdom knowledge and the fear of Elohim and he did not turn from the good way either to the right or to the left but in the latter days of Methuselah the son of men turned from Yahuwah. They corrupted the earth. They robbed and plundered each other. And they rebelled against Elohim. And they transgressed. And they corrupted their ways. And would not hearken to the voice of Methuselah. But rebelled against him. And Yahuwah was exceedingly wroth against them. And Yahuwah continued to destroy the seed, of the, the seed in those days. So that there was neither sowing nor reaping in the earth for for when they sowed the ground in order that they might obtain food for their support behold thorns and thistles were produced which they did not sow and still the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways and their hands were still exceeding extended to do evil in the sight of Elohim and they provoked Yahuwah with their evil ways and Yahuwah was very wroth and repent and repented that he had made man and he thought to destroy and annihilate them and he did so in those days when Lamech the son of Methuselah was 160 years old Seth the son of Adam Ad Adam died and all the days that Seth lived were 912 years and he died and Lamech was 180 years old when he took Ashmoah the daughter of Elijah the son of Chanuk his uncle and she conceived and at that time the sons of men sowed the ground and a little food was produced yet the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways and they tri and they trespassed and rebelled against Elohim and the women of Lamech conceived and bore him a son at that time at the revolution of the year and Methuselah called his name Noah saying the earth was in his days at rest and free from corruption and Lamech his father called his name Menashem saying this <clears throat> this one shall comfort us in our works and miserable toil in the earth which Elohim had caused had cursed and the child grew up and was weaned and he went in the ways of his father Methuselah perfect and upright with Elohim and all the sons of the men departed from the ways of Yahuwah in those days as they multiplied upon the face of the earth with sons and daughters and they taught one another their evil practices and they con continued sinning against Yahuwah and every man made unto him an Elohim and they robbed and plundered every man his neighbor as well as his relative and they corrupted the earth and the earth was filled with violence and their judges and rulers went to the daughters of men and took their women by force from their men according to their choice and the sons of men in those days took from the cattle of the earth the beast of the field and the fowls of the air and taught the mixture of animals of one species with the other in order therewith to produce to provoke Yahuwah and Elohim <laughs> in order to therewith provoke Yahuwah and Elohim saw 
the whole earth, and it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted its way upon earth, all men and all animals. And Yahuwah said, I will blot out man that I created from the face of the earth, yea, from man to the birds of the air, together with cattle and beasts that are in the field, for I repent that I made them. And all men who walked in the ways of Yahuwah died in those days, before Yahuwah brought the evil upon man which he had declared, for this was from Yahuwah, that they should not see the evil which Yahuwah spoke of concerning the sons of men. And Noah found grace in the sight of Yahuwah, and Yahuwah chose him and his children to raise up seed from them upon the face of the whole earth. Well, that's interesting. I wonder why Joshua's not calling the sons of men sons of God or Nephilim because that's who corrupted mankind was the, the fallen angels and their teachings. We'll have to look into this a little bit. Well, there's chapter 4. I hope y'all enjoy it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all.